This video is about solving equations with absolute values in them. Recall that the absolute value of a positive number is just the number, but the absolute value of a negative number is its opposite. In general, I think of the absolute value of a number as representing its distance from zero on the number line. The number four and the number negative four are both at distance four from zero, and so the absolute value of both of them is four. Similarly, if I write the equation the absolute value of x is three, that means that x has to be three units away from zero on the number line. And so x would have to be either negative three or three. Let's start with the equation three times the absolute value of x plus two equals four. I'd like to isolate the absolute value part of the equation. I can do this by starting with my original equation, subtracting two from both sides, and dividing both sides by three. Now I'll think in terms of distance. On a number line, the absolute value of x is two-thirds, means that x is two-thirds away from zero. So x could be here or here at negative two-thirds or at two-thirds. And the answer to my equation is x is negative two-thirds or two-thirds. I can check my answers by plugging in. Three times the absolute value of negative two-thirds plus two, I need to check if that equals four. Well, the absolute value of negative two-thirds is just two-thirds, so this is three times two-thirds plus two, which works out to four. Similarly, if I plug in positive two-thirds, it also works out to give me a correct answer. This second example is a little different because the absolute value sign is around a more complicated expression, not just around the x. I would start by isolating the absolute value part, but it's already isolated. So I'll just go ahead and jump to thinking about distance on the number line. So on my number line, the whole expression 3x plus 2 is supposed to be at a distance of 4 from 0. So that means that 3x plus 2 is here at 4, or 3x plus 2 is at negative 4. I'll write those as equations. 3x plus 2 equals 4, or 3x plus 2 is minus 4, and then I can solve. So this becomes 3x equals 2, or x equals 2 thirds, and over here I get 3x equals minus 6, or x equals minus 2. Finally, I'll check my answers. I'll leave it to you to verify that they both work. A common mistake on absolute value equations is to get rid of the absolute value signs, like we did here, and then just solve for one answer instead of solving for both answers. Another mistake sometimes people make is once they get the first answer, they just assume that the negative of that works also. But that doesn't always work. In the first example, our two answers were both the negatives of each other, but in our second examples, our two answers were not just the opposites of each other. One was two-thirds, and the other was negative two. In this third example, let's again isolate the absolute value part of the equation. So starting with our original equation, we can subtract 16 from both sides and divide both sides by 5, or equivalently multiply by 1 -fifth. Now let's think about distance on the number line. We have an absolute value needs to equal negative three. So that means whatever is inside the absolute value sign needs to be at distance negative three from zero. Well, you can't be at distance negative three from zero. Another way of thinking about this is you can't have the absolute value of something and end up with a negative number. Absolute value is always positive or zero. 
So this equation doesn't actually make sense, and there are no solutions to this equation. In this video, we solved absolute value equations. In many cases, an absolute value equation will have two solutions. But in some cases, it'll have no solutions. And occasionally, it'll have just one solution.